That looks right now. All right. Let's get that copy build tool out and see about um, getting this. Uh, all right. So the first spot that I need. Um, first, I need this on copy. And we need to do you right click empty air clear you to So from there to there, that looks like the right amount of stuff. So then we switch it to paste, and we need to rotate it. That way. There. looks correct. Now we need to grab some supplies. <laughs> Alright, we have enough limestone. We need the slabs and stairs. Okay. I need you. Because I need to make How many stairs? One more. One more stair. And then I also need some slabs. And it says I need dirt, which I'll be deleting anyway, so I'm not going to place. And the paste is something I don't need really either. All right, so we should be able to go over here now. And paste. I was missing a block here. That's not where it's supposed to go, is it? Oh, because I'm missing. Oh, I must not have. Um. Expanded the range, or I'm missing blocks. Oh, you know what? I bet since these are architecture craft stairs, it doesn't know how to place them. No, you can't do stairs with limestone. It's chisel limestone, and chisel only has solid block variants. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. 
Alright, so that means this is also... Oop. No, no, no. Why are you not? There we go. So, we're getting that cleaned up. Alright. So then we just needed to kind of do this middle section here and here. Get rid of all this excess dirt that I was using for markers. Limestone is not part of vanilla. Nope. Not even in the newer versions. I did, um, yeah. that side. Alright, so we're all set there. I think everything looks all the same. Um, these arches. We need to do these arches all the way around because I haven't done that. So let's make those. Um, one, two, three, four. I think I just need four. to do these on all four sides. So this here. Alright. So to do that I need four of these kind of arches which are those. One, two. We need more brick. That's where it is. All right. I like that. And we just get rid of this row and put in stone brick instead.
I have to make two more of these. <clears throat> Excuse me. Make some stone brick. We need to make two more arches. Wow, I'm really happy with that so far. Let's put the supports in down here. Solidify the base a bit better. of the slabs. We'll do these as stairs. Okay. There's, there is the first level of our clock tower. Now, there's definitely spaces that we could add detail in the level of chisel and bits if I wanted to. Um, there's also the possibility that these corners, I could use a different color of limestone to give them like a stripe. I have to do the undersides yet so that you don't see all this garbage, but that'll come in time. So the second level here is, um, let's see, I did this one, I think seven. seven here as well. Okay, we 
did that, that's where those pillars are. So we would need to do um, I have some of that. Here, I only have 32. But if I did it. Copying, copy pasting, copy pasting, like that. area I might actually do a smaller entry hmm you know it might actually even be worth it to make the limestone up against these pillars. Let's see what that looks like. And we'll get rid of this section. Alright, and if we just put a piece of dirt there, I can place my limestone. See what that looks like. Yeah, I might like that better. <clears throat> We're still gonna enclose this, I think. Three wide. That's plenty. Do that. Um, no, if I did this taller, I could do a cute little star like window in here. smaller. Mm. To do that I need an even an even door. No. I don't like this, so let's not do that.
Oops. We'll do something else, I think, right there. I actually want this taller, I think. All right, let's try that. If I do this too taller all the way around. The perspective looks about right. I think I'd maybe want this a little taller. We're gonna do something bulky like this around the top part before we do the clock face. <coughs> Excuse me. I think as far as perspective is concerned, I think that part needs to be taller. There's two more. That view looks better. That height I think I'm happy with from looking from down below. Hmm. I'm gonna add more here I think. Like if I did... Is it possible to do a functioning clock face? Uh, probably? Am I going to do it? Probably not. I mean, because there are daylight sensors, so you can detect kind of like what time of day it is with the daylight sensors. Oh, I don't want to do that because I'm going to copy. Um, I am not proficient with redstone to be able to do that. So we've got that. Whoop! Click the button too many times. Now, how would I deal with this area? Hi, fluffy cloud. We can put different lanterns there. It doesn't have to be torches. <laughs> Just trying to think. Thank you, Fluffy Cat. I'm working on a clock tower for the town here. So, yeah. Gotta do... This is the second layer, and then the next layer will be the actual clock. Well, the face. The clock. Yeah. So... <laughs> yep. Um... Hmm. I like the way this looks. I don't think it needs much else, but it might be, let's see, we do that. That's a nice, that's, I, yes, let's do that. All right. 
and in here we want to swap these out for the um, slabs we're using everywhere else. So let's go around and do that. Um, no, we're going to leave those like that because that's going to be the interior of that floor. Okay. Let's try the copy paste thing again. Let's do copy and we're going to copy actually I need to do this section don't I? I need to do uh, that, that on both sides. And then all we have to do is fill in the middle. Okay, dirt for the marker it needs to be you um, and There we go. That looks like it covers everything. So when we switch it to paste and then flip it, get it out of my face. Is that right? Did I actually like? Yep. That looks correct. So we need. Bunch of chiseled stone, stone brick stairs, the walls, torches, and everywhere. The 91 paste. I'm not really sure which blocks it can't recognize, but let's get the stuff it needs. It was what again? A, a 72 of the pillar blocks. And then 14 stairs. Dirt, the wall, the cobblestone wall. And that should be everything. Yep. And so if we switch back to you, we should be able to just paste. There we go. It pasted everything. And we just need to fill in these little gaps here. View and view. Okay. All 
All right. So there's the start of the second floor. We're going to work on the entrance, probably do some kind of decorative something here because that's a big plain open space that I don't want to keep there. If we can get rid of those mark, those blocks. So let's do that. Okay. Um, oh, you know what, that's probably because this was slightly lower and I didn't reserve, didn't save that space. And is that what I did? No, it's that. Let's pop you out then. All right. I only have 14, so I need to get some more of those made. So let's do that. more of these to fill in the floor. So let's do that. Okay. Why too close perhaps? Mostly correct. I think I have an extra block under a couple of these spots because you can see how it, the way the shaded line doesn't connect the same way. <clears throat> under here, yeah. That's correct. This one. And then that one. So that should be look better up here. Yep, the floor looks better now. Uh, granted, we have to do a lot on the inside, but I'm working on the outside first. We'll be filling all of this in, probably doing some kind of a, a, a pretty ceiling perhaps. All right, so we have... <clears throat> We need to do a build up section like this at the top of these pillars, not quite as wide, not quite as big and bulky. Um, and on top, how wide is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, probably. The top section is going to be the same size. We're just going to add, build up a section like this just to give it some, something to sit the clock face on top of, essentially, you know. Oh, all right. Let me think here. I want something similar. I think I want something a little 
cleaner. So instead of zigzagging in around the pillars, we might go straight across. Um, I know that I'm going to need some more stone brick stairs. So let's do that. Starters, I know I'm going to want them here, so we'll do that. Let's see. I did a rim all the way out. I'm gonna fill this in here too. <clears throat> like that. And then on top of that, see these are the bottom slabs though, so I do have that to contend with. Um what if I did I do that, that gives it a bit of structurally structural strength. Why are you doing that? Um, I don't know. Hmm. I mean, that would work. All right. It doesn't come out that far. So as I built up, Let's use dirt. Would I want to do that? Um, and so the clock face, it would need to go in one more. Perhaps. There, that's the clock uh, face wall. Well, um, if I did that,
Would I want the clock face to start here, or would I want to do another layer? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, that works. So it needs to be one, no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then, of course, we'll do something up on the top. Welcome back, Dem. The clock face will be recessed, and I think I'm going to use white glowing blocks, which I have some of, and black glowing blocks. And we may perpetually have it set at, like, 4 o'clock or three o'clock or something it doesn't have to function um, mainly because I don't know how to do that I just want it to look cool yep we have some glowing blocks in here so so far looking cool there's a lot of work to be done on it yet a lot of work a lot to do on this section yet before we even get up here. Um, so if this is the middle... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, one, two, three. There's um, I need more glowing blocks. <laughs> we need um, five more glowing blocks. Put in these corners and then one here and that'll be the f one side of the clock i really don't like that they blink that they strobe do we have anything else that is a full block might just have to use quartz or concrete Concrete would be smooth, or even better, the um, flat color blocks that's just white. Um, might even be able to make some of those. I don't have any bone meal on me. I'd go get some bone meal. I don't think there's a white glowstone because it's gonna be there's your glowstone blocks there isn't a white glowstone um Yep, and I'm gonna do, you know, something up here. I'm gonna make it a, um, give it a little, a little pointy roof. Not super pointy, but it's gonna be a pitched roof. Um, probably not on all four sides. It'll probably do 
here to here since this is the front we'll do the front and the back like that um <laughs> might not even the face might not even need to be this large no, you can't paint glowstone either. Because if the, um, okay, the hands connect here. Let's just pretend it's three o'clock. Very much, I very well may use, um, fences or something instead of solid giant freaking blocks here. There's just so much left to do on here. I need to do some thinking and figuring out of things. All I had gotten figured out for today was I knew that I wanted it to be a really thick pillar-like base, which we did. We got a thick pillar-like base. Um, I am going to want to, you know, shape this a lot better and then actually get it blended into the environment down here. Um, so it'll probably be, probably be one wider with the chiseled stone, and then I'm going to do maybe a half slab or a step to get it down to the grass level. Again, this is the block that people warp in on uh, when you do warp town. So I wanted to make sure that I knew where that was going to be. Um, yeah, so we have a bunch to do on the inside also. Looking good. Okay. So that's going to be it for me this morning, folks. I'm doing a little bit better. I almost got to two hours today before I'm like, okay, I need to stop. I do hope you appreciate what I'm working on here. I hope you enjoy the little clock tower I have got going on. I will be back tomorrow morning at the same time to do some more work on this. Uh, if I'm in the mood, I will be working on getting this uh, worked on between today and tomorrow. Um, I would like to have the clock tower 90% done by the end of tomorrow's stream so that it's, you know, a nice smaller project to have done so and that everyone can admire it and enjoy it. So I will be back tomorrow morning. So I will catch you back here then. Have a good day, folks. Bye.